the first way is to, to look through. In this video tutorial, you'll learn how to search for and view Retail Manager transactions. You'll also learn how to reprint these transactions. There are various ways of finding transactions in Retail Manager. Probably the first way is to look under the information menu and to look up a stock item or stock code, look up via the supplier or via the customer or look via a staff code. So to take an example, let's look in the customer and we'll find all the transactions that pertain to customer Jones. So we can go and enter Jones's surname with an equal sign in front and press enter and under the purchases tab we'll see all the previous items that Jones has purchased. We can also look under the other tabs to find previous invoices, to find invoice payments, laybys of any and any other transactions to do with the customer Jones. If you double click, you can open up the transaction itself and reprint a copy. We can escape to go back to the main, the main screen. Again, we could look up a, start, a stock code. We can go to, to um, the double headed arrows, find an item that's, that we sell, and Easy to order do. Trial will show all Three the ways sales via the information or screen stock takes or all goods under received the tools or goods returned to do with that particular item. So a very good way of finding what's happened to an item is to go into the stock code. The other way of finding uh, transactions in Retail Manager is to go from the tools menu and use the lookup. The quick way into the lookup is from your keyboard using Control and L. So if we go in there we could show the last sale by simply clicking on last sale or we can show all by clicking on show all and update the grid or I could look under all the all the transactions sold by staff number one again each time we must update the grid we could look under customer again we could go customer Jones press enter update the grid and here's all the transactions belonging to Mary Jones. Or we could look up via the barcode. We'll look up the cappuccino machine by typing in equals cap and update the grid and all the transactions to do with the cappuccino maker will come up. We've got two sales dockets and one invoice. So under look up transactions we can look up any previous transaction, be it a credit note, a goods received, goods returned, a lay by a payment, an order, and even our quotes. The important thing to remember is each time we do a lookup, we must update the grid. It's very important, otherwise we don't get any information on our screen. And finally, to reprint a previous transaction, go to your tools, then reprint. From this option, we can re reprint the last sales docket, the last invoice, the last purchase order, goods received, goods returned, lay by, or anything, any other transaction that we've put through. So a very good way if you are, you've tried to print a docket and it hasn't worked, you wish to reprint a docket for the customer, you just come in here and simply reprint. So to recap, three ways of looking up in Retail Manager. One is via the information menu, or secondly and thirdly, via the tools menu using lookup or reprint.